Hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this tutorial I want to show you something I have done in a tutorial before but for Cinema 4D. In the Cinema 4D tutorial I have made some crystals and now I want to show you how you may make these crystals in Blender as well. Uh, the technique is a little bit different than in um, Cinema 4D, but I think the result is nearly the same. Um, and if we work on this a little bit more, I think we can really get the same result. So first of all, I have to fire light up my cigarette. Yes, I'm a smoker. Sorry. Um, now. Let's add a circle at first. Circle settings are for the vertices are 6 and for the radius 0.25 and the fill time is triangle fan. Now let's zoom in a little bit and then we go into the edit mode. We grab the, the vertice in the middle and the vertex in the middle and then we move this one up by 0.25 grab set 0.25 okay now press the limit visible limit we okay, limit selection to visible then you can see the where vertices is behind your object and you can select them as well. So extrude this now, extrude set minus one and then we extrude it again the set minus direction 0.25 and then hit W merge at center. So now we have our crystal we can now move it up so that tip, the button tip of the crystal hits the ground. Okay, and now comes the part where a crystal gets a crystal. First, we have to select all of our um, vertices or edges, and then in the mean grease. Um, just go in the mean grease and hit 1. And then we can do some some uh, edge loops like this. And now we can use the knife tool and we do some random cuts here. Just do random cuts, don't use any uh, patterns, try to be random and try to cut every um, face on this object here on the crystal, doesn't matter how just be random. This side here. Okay, and I think that's the last side here. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, and now let's add. Uh, before we switch to cycles, we add here real quick uh, not the material, sorry. Um, we need only a texture, real quick. Um, distort a nice texture and name it Displacement or Disp 
let it like it is. Okay, sure you can change the settings, but I think this is working good. So let it like it is. Then um, switch to the cyclist render, add a new material, add a glass material, and in the IOR put number two. And then we go to the modifiers and we add a sub subdivision surface modifier and a render maybe three optimal display and then we add a displace modifier and we choose our displacement texture and as you can see it's uh, really messed up uh, we have to lower the strength a little bit to 0 0.01 and now I think that's looking really good. As you can see the displacement gives us a little bit of structure here. But you have to use a uh, subdivision surface modifier bef uh, before you use a displace modifier. The subsurf modifier gives us, gives us a little bit more geometry. Oh, well, now we are nearly finished. We add a plane. We position our camera real quick and the plane we can scale it up to 10 and we add real quick a plane rotated in X 90 degrees we put it here set X a little bit up we add here an emission material a real quick emission material with strength of 2 and we duplicate this move it to here rotate it in z axis 45 degrees minus and then we put it here out of the camera view just to have another light in place so and now we can go to the world settings, we use nodes, we use an environment texture and in the environment texture we can use uh, HDR um, like s as example like this just to have something to reflect. It doesn't matter what you are reflecting, it, you have to reflect something because it's glass, it's transparent and uh, it's specular so we need something or oh, it's reflective so we have to uh, reflect something on the surface okay and now let's look through the camera let's check the render settings um, go to GPU then samplings we add uh, crank the numbers up to 200 just for the test here and full global illumination is OK. So uh, now let's do a real quick render. And as you can see now, it's coming out re really cool. I will pause the render until it's finished. Okay, for sure I don't stop the rendering until it's finished, I stop the recording until it's finished. The render is finished. So now the render is finished and we see a beautiful looking crystal. For sure we can uh, improve this a little bit more. Um, we can add another lamp. Um, we duplicate this lamp here and we rotate in the x-axis by 90 degrees. Uh, add it on the top. <coughs> scale it up a little bit and move it a little bit more up so and then we can add a material to the floor as well okay just I think the default setting a little bit more white okay I think that's okay and Yeah, I think the crystal is looking real cool. 
But to add some more reflection you can add some objects in your scene or just move your crystal a little bit and copy it and rotate it. Um, do what you want. <laughs> what should I say? Um, can now add some more crystals, scale them down, put it here. They can intersect, it doesn't matter, it's a it's a glass material, so why not intersecting? Crystals are intersecting in nature as well, so I think it's not a problem. Let me scale this one a little bit up. Move it a little bit up, rotate it, and I think we are now finished. I do a final rendering, and after this is finished, I will be back. So I'm back now, and as you can see, I have done some more work on the crystals, the color of the crystals. I just colored it a little bit and I moved them a little bit I added one more and as you can see it looks really nice um, for sure you can improve the li lighting and stuff but um, this is only this tutorial is only to to show you that you can do things that you can do in Cinema 4D, you can do in Blender as well. So <clears throat> we have finished now. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked this tutorial and we see you we see us the next time. Bye. And by the way, excuse my bad English.